something kind of interesting, guys. Actually, I found this a while ago, and this is a video that I've been meaning to make for a very long time. This is something that goes all the way back to the very beginnings of Yu-Gi-Oh! in the TCG. Let me explain. The first three sets that were released in the United States in 2002 were Legend of Blue Eyes, Starter Deck Yugi, and Starter Deck Kaiba. Or were they the first three? You see, the Yu-Gi-Oh! database that we all know and love has Forbidden Memories and Dark Duel Stories also listed as coming out in March of 2002. So were there three or five original Yu-Gi-Oh! sets that were released? The Wikipedia page for Forbidden Memories notes, at least at the time of writing this script, that the Yu-Gi-Oh! database has the cards listed as coming out in March but weren't actually released until November. But Dark Duel Stories doesn't have an entry like that and only shows a March 2002 release date for the the promo bundles. I also enlisted the help of Seto Kaiba himself to help me check back through old forums and through his notes to see when the cards were released, but we still aren't sure if the Forbidden Memories bundles actually also came out in March instead of later in November, or if Dark Duel Stories had its promo bundles release in March and isn't actually similar to Forbidden Memories and therefore prone to contention. Seto Kaiba did note that the Forbidden Memories game has two different cover arts though, which hints that there were indeed two separate releases for the game, one with the promos and one without the promos. However, this art discrepancy could also be just because of the EU release, as they didn't get the video game promos. Two different sets of Dark Duel stories were released though. The first set contained Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, and Exodia the Forbidden One, and the second set contained Sayaru, Sayaru, however you say that, as a trap hole and Salamandra. This isn't clear, however, if one set came out before another one or if they were just two separate bundles, one release containing three cards and another simultaneous release also containing a different three cards. I haven't found a 100% clarification on this. However, the first set would later be released as the Spanish Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses promotional cards while the second set was released as the European, English, French, and Italian Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition Stairway to the Destined Duel promotional cards. We have not been able to dispute Forbidden Memories completely and we haven't been able to dispute DDS at all because we haven't found any conflicting information on it. Meaning that Acid Trap Hole appears to be 2002 format, which weakens the potency of defense and stall decks significantly. Why is all of this important? Because May 2002 format was the first legal format in the TCG. It introduced the first limited list, which included Pot of Greed and Exodia. I made a video on this format that you can click the card for now, but I will also pin it down in the comments. It goes over which cards were best and played in the format, as well as shows off the decks themselves. But if Dark Duel Stories and Forbidden Memories are both legal in the format, and if their promo bundles actually came out in March instead of November, then it changes that video in entirely. Let's start by going over the cards that were released in the Forbidden Memories and Dark Duel Stories bundles. Starting with the Duel Stories bundles that now show a release date of March 19th, 2002. Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, Exodia the Forbidden One, Sir Are You, Acid Trap Hole, and Salamandra. And then the Forbidden Memories bundles, release dates now shown as March 20th, 2002. Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon, Harpy's Pet Dragon, and Metal Morph. That's right, Harpy's Pet Dragon was released before the Harpy Ladies. Crazy stuff, but that's something I learned years ago from an old Galactic God video. I was just unaware about just how early these bundles had actually come out. A lot of the description discrepancies that we see looking back were because of Upper Deck originally operating Yu-Gi-Oh! in the TCG while Konami operated the OCG. Besides that interesting tidbit about Harpy's Pet Dragon, there are really only two cards to note because they do make a huge impact on the format. Metal Morph and Acid Trap Hole. This is because a few of the cards in these sets are just reprints like Blue Eyes and Exodia for example. But even Salamandra, which makes a fire monster gain 700 attack, which is the biggest buff for an equipped spell in the format, doesn't make a splash whatsoever, because there aren't any good fire monsters to equip to. <laughs> the biggest fire monster is Fire Yaru, with 1300 attack bringing him to 2000. When there are already darks with 1600 attack like Dragon Zombie, not to mention La Jin with 1800 attack, with Sword of Destruction making them gain 400 attack. That being said, let's go over Metal Morph first because it objectively makes the biggest impact. Mainly because Metal Morph stays on the field and Mystical Space Typhoon wasn't a card yet. You had Remove Trap and D-Spell and Flip Effects like Trap Master. You could also play Reinforcements 
and Metamorph if you want to be even more aggressive. Metamorph gives a 300 boost permanently and gains half the opponent's monster's attack when you declare an attack. Metamorph raises the ceiling of 2002 decks significantly. This is what we had more or less determined to be objectively the best deck in 2002 before, but it could still lose to the many 2k booty cards in the format and the decks built around them. And here's what we have now with Forbidden Memories and Dark Duel Stories being included. I'll get into exactly why Wicked Worm Beast is a superior card to Trapmaster and others in a later video, because I have a lot of cards that I could talk about individually in a whole other 2002 video. Sam Cox and I figured out a long time ago that Wicked Worm Beast is actually one of the best cards in 2002 format. Metamorph replaces reinforcements so well that we rigorously tested full aggro strategies with different ratios of reinforcements and metamorphs, and Wabaku proves time and time again to be a better card, especially in the long game, which these matches often turn out to be because the format itself is slow and Swords of Revealing Light is actually powerful. So while you theoretically can play reinforcements and metamorph, it's actually not as great as it sounds. Now earlier, I mentioned those fat 2k booties in the format like Spirit of the Harp, Mystical Elf, and Giant Soldier of Stone. Those those decks could hold out and win against standard beat decks in the format because of just how many walls there are in the format, not to mention literally playing Wall of Illusion. You only have three fissures and few other cards to out those defensive monsters, and Trap Hole is effectively dead against them when most players will play three of it, making defense pretty good. Very similar to how playing beatdown and aggro decks makes Knock Dead for your opponent in GOAT format. So Metamorph allows you to continually get over those monsters as well as Acid Trap Hole. Acid Trap Hole is another card that we determined to be better in the side than in the main because it is really only good against stall decks. The reason being is that it won't negate a flip monster's effect. So if you already have a monster on the board and try to acid a man eater bug, you just went neg one. However, just like with Swords of Revealing Lights, if the bug is flipped and no other monster is on the board, the bug will blow itself up for a one for one. In most situations against most decks, we have determined that this is pretty much the best all around build and is literally card for card what I have in real life right now. Pending of course, Forbidden Memories and Dark Duel Stories actually being 2002 format. Stall decks are extremely powerful without Dark Duel Stories and Forbidden Memories like I was talking about earlier, but Metamorph also helps stall decks and is a better card than Castle Walls. The reason why is because the monster gains 300 attack and defense, meaning that if your opponent is only playing reinforcements, for example, and they use Lajin to attack your face down Mystical Elf, and you use Metamorph in place of Castle Walls here, they will cancel out and your opponent will go neg. Once again, making Metamorph Morph a better card than reinforcements because the attacking monster would gain half of the attack of the monster that it's attacking. Long story short, Metamorph increases attack and defense, making it a better card for everyone all around. Not to mention being better than Castle Walls because if the monster lives, then the Metamorph will allow the monster to attack over things, especially if equipped to Giant Soldier of Stone who has the highest attack of all the 2000 defense monsters in the format. You guys that are into 2002 formats are probably asking yourselves where Blue Eyes and other decks like Metal Dragon fit into all of this. Well, after extensive playing, we did create a tribute deck that was pretty dang good. But Blue Eyes and other decks that play Equips or Poly just lose to Standard Beat, Stall Burn, and what we just called Soul Beat. The reason why is because if you are playing an Equip deck, for example, those Equip cards are dead without a monster, and also die with that monster. And in the case of Blue Eyes, the Lord of D's and Flutes Brick. You can play Last Will and Blue Eyes and it still doesn't get close to touching Soul Exchange builds leaving the format with a solid three decks and others being easily beatable by those three decks. So defense, tribute, and beatdown. Exactly the same three decks as before, but this time with Standard Beats being objectively the best deck because it has more cards to use against defensive wall and burn decks as well as not being as bricky as Soul Exchange. But the information in this video that we have gathered through all of our testing is only applicable if Dark Duel Stories and Forbidden Memories are legal in the original May 2002 Yu-Gi-Oh format. Otherwise, you cross over into the Metal Raiders era, making this data even more obsolete. I personally would like these cards Cards to be included in May 2002 formats as Metamorph and Acid Trap Hole prevent defense decks from being too annoying and numerous, as well as being additional nostalgic and classic cards to an already great format. So until there is absolute clarification, we essentially have two 2002 formats. One with cards from the awesome Forbidden Memories and Dark Duel Stories games being included in May 2002 formats because of a visible March release date, and one with only the three OGs. 
starter deck Yugi, starter deck Kaiba, and the legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. So which format actually happened? One where some card shops had the bundles early and gave some kids an advantage? Or one where the video game bundles were never available early? Nah, seriously, I wanna know. I did my best here and I did a lot of testing for this video, like, uh, I would like those cards to be 2002 format. I think it makes it funner. That is the end of the video. Subscribe! <laughs>